Welcome back to the channel and today I want to create another crazy wing style plane inspired by this one. Uh, this one is actually based on a real life plane, but the one I'm going to be making today, I really doubt anything in real life has tried what I'm about to try. Um, but the reason why this plane inspired it is because when I built it, I accidentally forgot to turn off controls for these, uh, these steering hinges. So they still had like the steering buttons on them. And then I noticed that I could bend the wings intentionally. And that's actually causing me to move around and do stuff. I don't, yeah, that's not going to work though. But I thought, how cool would it be to actually use the wing bending like this? to try to control the plane rather than it just being an unintended side effect of the steering hinges. So I think I'll just use this fuselage just cause I already have it built and um, I already have like the wings hooked up like this and I'm gonna try to program it so that the wings are gonna be in the center of mass or like they're gonna have a nice center of lift. But then if I bend the wings forward, that should move my center of lift forward causing me to pitch up and if I bend the wings back, that should cause me to hopefully pitch down. And then if I do like an S bend where the left goes forward and the right goes back, I think that should give me roll to the, oh wait, no, that actually might cancel out because I've done a swept wing plane before where the wing actually does rotate to be at an angle. Oh, you know what? All right, there's a solution to that. I have to have one side go forward and the other side do nothing. So that means I'm actually going to get rid of all of the controls for pitch and uh, I, guess, I guess I can keep yaw in here, but I had my pitch and roll on the back of this thing. You know, actually, let me, let me get rid of these back wings. These are not part of the equation here. Those were only for the circular winged plane. All right, the tail has been attached. Now the first order of business is I have to make this thing fly nice and level with the wings being just straight out before they're being manipulated at all. So right now I don't, oh no. Wait, why are they just going like that? They shouldn't be active immediately. Well, this certainly does look interesting now, doesn't it? Um, what, what is going on? Why are the controls doing that? I actually don't know what, what's causing that right now. Oh, here we go. There's an altitude sensor right here. Yep, that was the culprit. All right, now it should be normal. Let's see if this thing flies level. Okay, center of lift is too far forward. So this is gonna be trial and error. I'll move the wings backwards and I'm gonna do this until I have nice level flight. Okay, how's this looking? All right, I've moved them too far backwards. There's probably gonna be a point where like, it's just gonna be like balancing. It's gonna be a balancing act. It's probably gonna wanna tip forward or backwards depending on its momentum. But let's see if I can get myself there. I wanna be on that balancing point. All right. Okay. All right, a little too far forward. All right, well, I I just, I have one more option left. If I move these one block backwards and it's uh, still too far forward or if it's too far back, then it, it, it's gonna be a bit more difficult. Okay, see, there we go. Look at that. So it started off going down and then the momentum caused me to go backwards. So I think I'm, I'm at that point that I described where it's like I'm balancing. And if anything knocks me off balance, I just go in that direction. Oh, maybe not. Okay, all right, all right, you know what, there's a solution to that. The center of lift does still feel slightly too far forward, so all I'm gonna do is just add a little bit to the tail. And this should hopefully balance it out a little bit more. Oh boy, too much, way too much. Maybe I'll just add a little bit more to the wings then. All right, this is like when you add too much of one ingredient, so you make up for it by adding a little bit of the other, but then you add too much of that, and then you make up for it by, oh, it worked. Check that out. That, we found the right ratio of tail to uh, wing. It looks a little big and a little weird, but the whole premise of this is just weird. Oh, here we go. These are actually controlled. So, oh, 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 uh oh, no, that stopped working. All right, this is gonna be a hard plane to control, but the basics were there. When I moved the wings forward, I pitched up. When I moved the wings backwards, I pitched down. I don't have roll yet. This might actually be a really quick video if this goes this smoothly. But as you can see, I do have some control over my... No, oh wait, no, that's the wrong way. Uh, oh, I do have some control over my pitch, but once I reach more than a certain angle, they don't do anything anymore because they're catching wind from a different direction. The wind needs to be flowing underneath um, in order for this to work effectively. But as soon as I dip down, the wing, the wind starts hitting the top. And I'm assuming that's what's causing it to stop working. If you imagine there's actual airflow in this game, 
which there's not actually, but I feel like it's functioning like that. As long as wind is moving underneath, the lift is uh, pushing up. But once we start tilting too far forward, oh. So now I need to program roll into this thing. All right, ready? Uh, oh, that's not the right button. All right, well, let's see what happens here. When I press D, oh, it rolls me and pitches me, which does make sense. I don't know if we're gonna have a good control over roll. I don't know how to have a good control over roll. I was like, that, it kind of rolls me to the right, but it's not good. It is not good. I don't know if I can put roll in this. Because in order for roll to work, I need the lift on one side to be greater than the lift on the other side. And I'm not really doing that. All I'm doing is changing the center of lift on one side from front to back, not left to right. So if I want this thing to be able to roll, I don't think bending wings is what needs to happen because if I bend these wings, I'm not really changing much of the center. Oh, unless I do. All right, I'm gonna bump this up to like 60 degrees. How does that look at- Okay! Stupid. This is so stupid. <laughs> I'm swimming. I'm swimming through the air, which is, I guess that's called flying, isn't it? All right, there we go. Pitch up, pitch down. Pitch up, pitch down. Pitch up, pitch down. And it's ruined. All right, this is getting kind of ridiculous. But if I just set the output of W and S to be 40 degrees, it should go back to... Oh, that's not... This should be 40% output, but it, like, wasn't working for some reason. Why is it doing that? That's really weird. All right, well, anyway. All right, my idea for a roll, it's not working out like I was hoping it would. It's not as easy to program as I thought. Um, I wanted to kind of scrunch the wing up by having all of the steering hinges rotate opposite of each other, but the first one ends up putting the subsequent ones on more of an angle than I want, and... I don't think there's an easy way for me to program that one to have a different angle than the rest of them without then ruining the symmetry of this, uh, of the forward and back. But let's just see what happens with this. The idea is that we should be moving the center of lift in on the right side, but not the left side, so it should cause us to roll right. And if I can... Oh, boy. This is such a terrible plane. All right, so if I try to roll to the right, you can see that does actually kind of work. Yeah, but like, if I get too far of an angle in any direction, there's no recovering. But it does appear to kind of work in concept. I can roll a little bit to the right, and then I can use my pitch to slowly turn myself as I roll to the right, but I don't have any left right now. All right, so now I have another set of logic for the left side. So as you can see, my right side and my left side are independently controlled. So now, Theoretically, I should have pitch and roll in all four directions. Is that going to allow me to successfully fly this thing where I want to go? All right, let's roll to the left a little bit. I have to be really, really subtle and careful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. All right, you know what? Given how subtle this thing needs to be, I think I got to go back to putting this angle down to maybe actually 30%. Oh, whoa. It actually makes a huge difference. Like, you can barely see it. That's terrible for, like, the aesthetic of this thing. The whole point was to see it bend the wings. But look at how easy it is to control in comparison. Oh, no. Oh, this is so difficult. It's so subtle, the, way, the movements that need to happen on the wing. But it actually feels way more doable. Look at this. All right. Oh, man. The, yeah, the roll is very sketchy. Very sketchy on the roll. Because the roll, we have the issue where the wing sweeps back a little bit, which also causes us to pitch forward slightly. Oh, this is so rough. Oh, no. I don't know how to solve this problem. All right, you know what? I'm just going to see what happens aesthetically if I change the angle of just the first hinge to half. See, that's what I want to happen. But now, 
I mean, it doesn't really affect much when it comes to the forward and back. But I do, just for the sake of aesthetics, I do want to bring back the bigger curve. But here we go. Let's see if I can lift this thing off. And now let's see if I have a better... Um... Oh, look at that lift off. Let's see if I have a better roll now that's more symmetrical. All right, so roll to the right. That works. This is so weird, though. But it's working. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this actually feels, like, controllable. The roll is a little too slow now. I might need to uh, up the speed of the hinges again. I overcompensated because of how fast the pitch goes. This is so cool. Yeah, because there are, there are no control surfaces on the tail. All of my pitch and roll is just from those wings bending and flexing. All right, roll to the right. I can't believe the scrunch works so well. Look at that scrunch, how it contributes to the roll. All right, this is we're, we're doing the test flight here. We're already on our test flight. We had a great takeoff. So my test flight requires a couple of things. I got to take off. I usually try to fly, control this thing through a hoop of fire. And then I have to have a smooth landing back where I came from after flying around the map. And look at that. We got the hoop of fire. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, I almost pitch down too much. Okay, I'm trying to go through this other hoop of fire. I don't think I'm going to make it. I made it, but at what cost? At what cost? Uh, we're, no, we're still going. No, we're not going anymore. All right, this time just one hoop of fire. We only need to do one. I don't know why I got so overly confident there. We're definitely not going for that one. Too high. Oh, uh, okay. We're good. Oh, no, I overdid it. Yes, this is there's a big drawback with this type of plane. You cannot pitch too far down, otherwise your controls, your pitch stops working if you pitch too far down. So you gotta keep your nose relatively level. I just I wanted bare minimum functionality is what I was aiming for. Can this thing control itself? Dare I go for this archway? No, 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 pitch up! Oh, almost overdid it there. Roll left. Roll left! Oh, okay. This tries the charm. I I haven't been counting on how many tries I've done this. All right, we're gonna go through the hoop of fire. We're gonna have a nice controlled journey around the mountain, and then a nice landing as we come back for the carrier. All right. Like when I'm when I'm not doing any steep and maneuvers, it looks like this is a really pleasant flight. But as soon as I gotta do like a bank like our actual significant bank and change my direction a lot. Ah, uh, this plane is, it's really, really sketchy when it comes to that. See, I'm trying to self-correct. I'm trying to level out. It worked. Oh, that worked. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Dare I do the archway this time? I do feel pretty in control. All right, I'm going for it. All right, this doesn't look bad. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're on a, this is, this is promising. It's really promising. I got suspension. We should be able to have a soft landing if I can just control my speed and my angle as I come into the carrier. All right, lining up is going to be a big thing because my roll is extremely slow. I got to make sure I got my roll all leveled out by the time I'm ready to get to that carrier because I can't do uh, quick adjustments to that. And I don't like this angle I'm on right now. I'm going to have to do some last minute rolling. Exactly what I said I didn't want to do. Come on. All right, I gotta start slowing down. Uh, oh, you can see all the adjustments. Hey, that was good. I don't have brakes. Come on, come on, come on. What do you think? You guys impressed? <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't think there's a better name for this other than the flex wing. I don't know. What do you think? Do you guys have a better name? And uh, let me know. Do you have any other crazy ideas like this that you'd like to see me try to do in Trail Makers? Leave those down in the comments below. If you missed the uh, circular wing playing and that inspired this one, uh, you can go ahead and check that out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.